So we are now going over the ring flip um, and start to practice with how to draw the equatorial and axial group. So um, we, we also learned one thing, that's when you do ring flip, all your active equatorial will become axial, right? Yeah. Which means we'll keep consistent with this purple, um, which is this one here. We'll just make them into, so here all the, this is axial, okay? Axial. Well, all the green axial will now become uh, equatorial in this case. So I'll look at the green was axial, but now become equatorial. Well, still it's still on this uh, between the bond of red and black, and we'll go find an equatorial for it. Right? Did you see? So it was still parallel to this blue bond. So now this hydrogen become equatorial. Uh, am I good not to write everything? Equatorial. Okay, are we good? Okay, our previously the hydrogen, the purple hydrogen was equatorial. Okay, now become axial. Okay, are we good? Good. Okay, so we'll do the same because now axial is the easy one. We'll do all the axial. Uh, I think axial is easy. Okay, well, it's just like you just, you just, you just go straight down, right? Yeah. Okay, and people are going to ask, can you draw this hydrogen like this way? Yeah. Can you draw hydrogen like this way? No. Maybe. No, 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 you cannot do that because it's still carbon, sp3. So your bond angle should be roughly 109.5. This is the best way. So we talk about there no, um, no ring strain because, yeah, it's, it's roughly, that's why they want this chair complement. So, you still follow the rules, but you should not have the hydrogen pointing down. That's weird, okay? Yeah. Okay, all your, I've finished all my axial. Okay, the hard part could be equatorial because people are saying, I cannot see that. Okay, let's, let's I'll, I'll wait for people to finish um, axial and we'll draw equatorial together, okay? And we should have plenty of time to practice with RNS. Uh, I know I haven't go over that in the class, but I believe a lot of you guys probably already know what it is, right? We can go over RNS, yes. Okay, so here, it parallel, the equatorial bond is this one. Are we good? Yeah. Here. Okay. All right. And then here, this bond is always your neighbor's neighbor, okay? Okay, this one, your neighbor's neighbor. Either is the same, okay? Your neighbor's neighbor has the same color. Neighbor's neighbor, neighbor's neighbor. You are all parallel in that way. Okay, uh, this one, here or here or here. Yeah, I'm running out of the space. Why I'm doing this? I don't know. Okay. Here. Okay. Here, here, here. Are we good? Here, here, here. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. So we'll put the CH3 back because I just practiced with all hydrogen. So look at where is our carbon number one is still here. Carbon number two, carbon number three. So. Um, if you finish writing that, we'll put our CH3 here. Okay, this is a CH3. Okay, so now my 1,3 diaxial only have hydrogen. That's less steric hindrance or less steric repulsion. So this will be more stable. Okay, so this is not stable. That's why when I draw the ring flip, okay, this one is longer because it's favored the second conformer. Are we cool with what, what we are talking about? So you should always keep the bulky group on the equatorial as possible. If you have one axial and one equatorial, that's fine. It's just like, a, um, like either would work. But if both one, one okay, so if we're done with this, if, if this is the case, hydrogen, and then you have one like a group and the other group, you have to be one axial and one equatorial. You want the smaller 
uh, uh, you want the large group, okay? Large group to be actuarial. You want the small one. So that will be more stable if you have to have one actuarial and one equatorial. Are we good? Yeah. Okay, then we are, are we good with chair confirmation?